As you guys have seen before in my videos, I always make an omelet in the morning. And today's omelet is consisted of mushrooms, tomatoes, bell peppers, very little, one small bell, pe bell pepper, and then a chopped up zucchini. Um, and this is my pre-workout meal. And I wanted to talk on the pre-workout meal and how vital it is to succeeding in workouts, especially this far in my prep. I am 12 days away and eating these foods helps me, basically gives me the, the energy I need to, to finish the workout and finish it the right way. Um, so basically, this is the energy that I get for, for my workout. Um, so I'll see you guys in the gym. This is my breakfast. I'm doing an omelet and I have overnight oats that I made. It just has strawberry oats and almond milk. It's pretty good. It smells good. I'm ready to eat it. I'm hungry. All right, guys. Hey, what's up guys? So we're back. <clears throat> had my lunch earlier and after my lunch I made the cake that I made yesterday I had a piece of and then I am eating this sandwich this sandwich is basically just some mustard um, pretzel bread and deli meat and a tomato so nothing nothing too crazy but I loaded up on carbs before this workout because I mean I'm 12, 12 days out now and this is gonna help me a lot as well as drinking a lot of water so this is my energy right here it comes from food um, for the gym as you can see too I have papers all over the place because it's getting closer and closer to the end of my school year as well and my competition is on the last week of my school year. So, like, I'm, I'm juggling school and bodybuilding right now. Bodybuilding. So, but I'm going to hit a lower body workout right now. We're going hyper. And then I will be hitting 200 calories of cardio. So, I'll take you throughout the workout. And All right. So, we're here at the gym. 12 days out pretty tired right now um, I just finished studying for the test and I got immensely prepare for this workout um, basically it's just a lower body workout um, and yeah stay tuned for it because once I wake up once I get into the mode it's gonna be good it's gonna be good all right guys, so we're back with a little commentary. As you can tell, I was pretty tired going into this workout, but mentally, I got myself strong and ready. Um, these were my squatting sets. I kept it light. Remember, I'm 12 days out, so what I did was drop the weight down to 210, and I performed four sets of 12 reps. Um, so the volume was barely pretty, it was pretty high. Um, but at at this period in time, I'm focusing more on conditioning, um, bringing out the muscle more. So that's what I did for back squat. My next exercise are stiff leg deadlifts. I put these in about five weeks ago, and I have been loving them. Um, still not going super heavy because I'm still in a deficit as well. But these have helped my glutes and hamstring tie in tremendously <clears throat> um for my next and third exercise on my lower day i perform the walking lunges the dumbbell walking lunges um this exercise is great for the hamstrings quads and glutes as well so this this exercise is a mass builder brings brings more conditioning out as well um and an exercise that i perform every leg day are lying curls and next 
after this, I do hip abductors. Um, so as you can tell on, on these workouts, on these days, I focus on hamstrings more than quads. And on my power day, I get to more of quad dominant workouts. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thanks for watching. Done with my workout. Gonna hop on the machine. Did back squats, stiff leg deadlifts, lunges, lion curls, and then hip abductors. Hope you enjoy. Going for 300 calories this session. I want to do my best on not getting out the cardio early this, this week. So first session on Monday. Finished last week's cardio yesterday. So no stop. Constant motion. I'll check in when I'm done. Show how I feel. Crunch time. 12 days. <laughs> 